Hello and welcome to the eighth tutorial for EdPy. In this video, we're going to be talking about functions. So functions are a little piece of code that you write yourself that can then be used repeatedly through a program. So uh, a function is started with the word def, just like this, and then you give it a program name or a function name, and then you need to have your two little uh, brackets just like this, and then a semicolon, and it will jump down. Anything you uh, place tabbed in, from this will be in the function, anything that goes all the way back out to the normal depth is not inside the function. So this little function I've set up here is a wait for clap function. So this means that every time wait for clap is called, the uh, Edison is going to sit here inside this while loop and wait for a clap to be detected before returning and going back to wherever else it's being used in the code. So if we have a look down here at line 18, we have this wait for clap being used, which means that uh, when we get to this point, the Edison is going to stop what it's doing. It's going to jump to here and it's going to run this piece of code. And then once it's finished running that piece of code, it's going to jump back down. It's going to go to line 19 and it is going to play the beep that is being used. Uh, so that is a very, very simple function. It doesn't take any inputs. It doesn't uh, pass anything back to the main program, but you can actually do more than this. So if we have a look down the bottom in line 30, we've got the check left light. And then inside the brackets, we have this word buffer. Now this means that we need to pass a value in as the buffer value. Now, what this function I've set up does is it looks to see if the left light level is higher than the right light level, but the buffer is there to make sure that the left light level is significantly higher in some way than the right light level. Because if, of course, if Edison's just sitting in a room, light levels kind of fluctuate a little bit, and you could just have left being higher than right uh, just with Edison just sitting on the table. So if we're doing something like a following torch, we really want to make sure that the left-hand side light level is higher than the right-hand side light level, which is why we've got this little buffer. So when you use this, you pass in your buffer value and it then reads in what both of those light levels are and adds the buffer to the right-hand side and then checks to see if left is larger than right. And if it is, it returns the true value. And if it's not, it returns the false value. Now, what this means is we can use this in one line in our if statement, if check light level and 10 as our buffer value, which means that basically is the left light level significantly higher than the right hand side light level. If so, we're going to turn towards the left because that means we're going towards the light. Otherwise, we're going to turn towards the right because of course that means that the right is higher than the left. So we're going to turn towards that. Uh, so there you go. That is how you use functions. You pass some information and they pass information back to the main program. Hope you guys have enjoyed that one and we'll see you in the next video.